Hello. In this demonstration, I am going to show you how to configure your Windows 7 operating system to automatically receive an IP address from a DHCP server. So let's get started. I'm going to click on the Start button and search for CMD, the command prompt. And I'm going to hit the command prompt, and then the black box opens. From the command prompt, I'm going to type in IPCONFIG, that's IPConfig, one space, a forward slash, and then ALL. Inside of my IPConfig slash all printout, you will see that this is DHCP enabled, no. But my static or manual IP address has been set to 10.10.0.100, subnet mask 255.0.0.0, and DNS servers are 10, 10, 0, 2. Okay, this is a manual TCP IP configuration and I want it to be an automatic TCP IP configuration or some people call it a dynamic TCP IP configuration. So I'm going to minimize my command line interface for now and I'm going to click on the start button and then click on control panel. Inside of the control panel I'm going to click on network and internet and then I'm going to click on View Network Status and Tasks. Inside of my Network Status and Tasks, I am going to click on Change Adapter Settings. And that brings me to my Network Connections, which you'll see I have one Local Area Connection, and I am going to right click on Local Area Connection and left click on Properties. Inside of my local area connection properties, I am now going to locate Internet Protocol version 4, click it one time to highlight it, and then left click on properties. And you will see in my Internet Protocol version 4 properties that I am using the following IP address and 10.10.0.100 has been defined there. I'm also using the following DNS server address, 10.10.0.2 has been manually defined there. So I want to obtain an IP address automatically, so I'm going to put the bullet into obtain an IP address automatically. I'd also like to obtain my DNS server address automatically, so I'm going to put the bullet into obtain DNS server address automatically. Then I'll click on OK to finalize my changes, and I'll close my local area connection properties box. I will also close my local area connection network connections box and then I'm going to open my command line interface again. From here I'm going to ipconfig slash all again. So ipconfig one space forward slash all and hit the enter key and you will now see that this is DHCP enabled yes and the IPv4 address is 10.10.0.100 and DHCP server is 10.10.0.2 as well as my DNS servers are 10.10.0.2. So this concludes my demonstration on how to set up Windows 7 to automatically receive an IP address from a DHCP server. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thanks for watching.